Imagine your world vanish in a heartbeat, leaving you raw and adrift. Home, family, and all the things that made it constant, gone, making you confront a new version of yourself. Trauma doesn't ask for permission, it just arrives. And moving forward gives us the chance and the choice of how we will deal with it. I'd like to take you on my journey from trauma to triumph. My story starts when I was eight years old. I was in the garden helping my father remove fallen branches from the gum trees when I made a mistake. It angered my father. He swung round and broke a branch on my skull and told me that I was worthless. Imagine how that little boy felt running from the garden, feeling hurt, crying and feeling unloved. I was told that my parents were dead, that I was adopted that small, insignificant sentence sowed the seeds of loneliness and abandonment. As I grew, the blows continued. At school, I was told that I was worthless, that I'd never make anything of my life. That teacher denied me access to his classroom. This just reinforced what my father said to me all those years before. And that was that you were worthless. At the age of 16, my father died of cancer. Later that year, I came home to find my clothes strewn all over the carport. The door locks changed. I was cast out. I gathered my things and I left. With no home, no family, and a meagre wage of $72 a week. What were my alternatives? Living in the car became that alternative. Betrayal, abandonment, loneliness, anger. These were my constant companions and my teachers. In that car, I learnt how to be a loner. I learnt how to survive no matter what life threw at me. Many years later, my path crossed the path of a loving and caring woman who later became the love of my life. Marriage brought warmth children and a happy family. You would think that having all that would have cured my anxieties. But that wasn't the case. I couldn't shake the fear of abandonment. And even in love, I felt like an outsider. Six years into my marriage, we experienced the most devastating loss that cut to the heart and changed everything. That tragedy was the life of my second son. His life was just 12 hours long. That's right, just 12 hours long. But during that time, I had a magical experience with my son. While holding him, he reached up and grabbed my little finger. He opened his eyes to reveal the blue eyes of his mother. I was the only one that got to experience such a fantastic time with my son. But you can't plan for something like this, the death of your child. We don't expect it. But can you imagine the grief and the anguish 
that my family went through. At the funeral, I didn't have the courage to honour my own son's life and take him on his last journey. That privilege was given to my brother-in-law, who carried out a white coffin, 18 inches long, 12 inches wide, bearing my son to his burial place. That cut hard into my heart. Yet, life still hadn't been done with me. Another blow. In 2013, I felt I experienced a life and death situation. An aviation accident. While watching each heartbeat, I could see the blood pool in the injury and then drain away, with each heartbeat getting slower and slower and slower, facing death. But I was stabilised and taken to hospital. And I was told that they would be amputating my foot. My old friends, grief, anger and sadness were back. But through a miraculous intervention, my foot was saved. In the aftermath of that last trauma, I realised I had a new opportunity, a second chance at life. I had questions, lots and lots of questions. But the answers weren't out there. The answers were in here, waiting to be discovered. The power within us is greater than any circumstance or situation we may be facing. I enlisted the help of a life coach who showed me clarity, taught me how to confront my demons. I became a life coach and I realised through my own experiences that I thought were meant to destroy me, became the foundation for my purpose. I discovered a passion to help people. People just like me. People that had gone through and overcome their battles, but didn't see the opportunities within themselves. I started to see that trauma wasn't just something happening to me, but it was something I could turn into triumph. So let me leave you with this question. What if your greatest trauma could become your greatest triumph? What if the challenges and the setbacks were just a doorway to new opportunities? With each new opportunity, there is a chance to rise above, to transform and to embrace new opportunities that, that life present to us. The journey of trauma to triumph isn't an easy one, but the steps are worth it. If you are suffering with struggles or have been through the battles and are wanting to know the next steps, then catch up with me, give me a call or have a chat. I offer a free complimentary chat at coachinghaven.com.au slash chat. We'll also put the link below this YouTube video. And let Coaching Haven help you be and have the life of purpose, joy and fulfilment that you can have. Thank you for listening. I'm Phil Hale from Coaching Haven.